In this lesson, we're going to learn how to write a CSV file from our queue table widget. Um, I'm going to copy the menu bar from the notepad program that we made with a few things missing so that we can choose when we want to um, open a CSV file or save a CSV file. And finally, I'm going to introduce the idea of dialects within um, CSV styles, which is basically a style for how we separate and how we tab. And we'll be using the Excel um, dialect for ours. OK, so uh, let's put our app in action. So the first thing that I want to do is go down to this open sheet and I want to change this to um, dialect equals Excel, which I talked about um, previously. It makes things a little bit simpler. Now what I want to do is create the um, save function. And what I want to do, I'm going to call this def save sheet and I don't need to check for a cell change this time I've done it already and take these first two lines from here cut and paste I know it's bad style but it makes things a bit easier they're almost the same the only thing is I don't want this to be open I want it to be save and I don't when it says there we want to say that we're saving the CSV file not that that bit really matters it's just what it looks like okay this one tends to be a little bit easier than one we've done before so we've got something similar to this one here so we want to um, take that first bit I don't want to be this to be new line I'm just going to tell them I'm opening this one for writing I still want to be as CSV file. Now I'm going to create a handle called writer and it's going to use um, csv.writer which um, is provided for us here within this import and within there we need to put our CSV file and we need to tell it how we want to write it and this is where it's nice because we're just going to say I want that dialect to be Excel and that's easy to keep those consistent then between one and the other. What we want to do is we want to look at each row of our table that we've got. So I'm going to say um, for each row in um, range and we want to do the whole table. So we can do self dot um, the row count. So that will look at each of the rows there. And what I want to do is I want to get um, the data from each row in a list. So what I'm going to do is I want to say um, row data and we'll just let that equal an empty list and we'll add to it as it comes along. I want to look at each cell as we move along. So we want to do the whole column length. So let's call that um, column um, and in, whoops, in range and this bit's like what we've just done but this time we want to do um, column count instead and then once we've done that I want an item and I could call that one it could be stuff something I would normally do equals self dot item and I want to get the item which is at that row and column and then what we want to do is if the item is not none that means we've got something you know, worthwhile there and um, then what we want to do is we want to go to our row data and we want to append that item but not just the item we want the text in that item otherwise um, we'll just uh, get a reference to the object and then else so there was nothing actually there of any use. We'll do row data dot append, and we just want to append an empty, um, you know, that empty um, space there. And then once we finish, we've got all our data. We actually want to um, use the writer to write the row each time within our um, file. So I can write write row, and that's going to be row data. Um, that's that one done. The next thing we need to do is um, I don't need this open sheet because with open sheet we're actually going to use that within 
and we're going to we're going to choose that from the file menu. What I want to do is um, actually create that file now. Those are the menu now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to import QApp, which will help me exit and QAction from making my menu. And the menu, I'm just going to literally cut and paste this whole thing in. Um, and the reason being, this is just going to be copied from um, the writer, the notepad program we made. So there's nothing new there. I'll explain it though in case you haven't watched that one. So we create um, we create a reference to our menu bar. We add a file to our menu bar. I'm putting in a quit action or I'm creating a quit action here. I've not put it in with a shortcut. Um, an open action and um, sorry that's a save action, an open action, a quit action and then I'm going to then once I've made the actions I'm going to add them to this file menu and then here I'm going to have the quit actions going to go to um, self.quitapp, so it's just self, so it's got to be within this class. So I've got to create a function that does that. Let's bring those down. Let's just do that bit now first and we'll do the others later. So that's def, um, and then that is going to be called quit app. So quit underscore app. And all we're going to do there is we're going to say q app dot quit, and that's all it does. So if we click on the quit, it will quit it. And then it says here self form widget, um, save sheet, self form widget, open sheet. Well, this one's fine, it's going to go to the open sheet. And oh, well, this one's fine because we've written that one there um, as well. I think actually we've got everything done. Let's run that. And let's, everything's empty at the moment. Let's open a, um, a one that we've got there is one. There it is. So these are our numbers. Let's, uh, let's put one in here. Eddie likes, whoops, grapes. Just writing over the top. Whoops, can't spell grapes. Eddie likes grapes. And then let's just save that, which is new, and I'll save it to the desktop again, and I'll call it two. And let's save, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to quit. Let's run it again. File open, desktop. Hopefully we'll have. There we go. Eddie likes grapes, and then obviously this works as well. Okay, I hope you found that helpful. In our next one, we'll be looking at adding in functions so that we've got something that's a little bit similar to a real working spreadsheet. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, think about subscribing. I've included a link to the code that I've used in the video below in the description. Stay in Infield with Winfield.